The first thing we're going to do in creating our 3D scene is to import a 3D model. So I'm going to go to a brand new scene that hasn't been touched and your storyboard program opens up in this default view unless you've been using it for a while and you've saved a workspace. So if it does open up in default, uh, I suggest that you work in the timeline mode. That's the one that we're going to be using. You could find it by that musical note. So you'll switch it over to timeline mode and that's going to give us um, much access to keyframes and other things that are going to be very important for us to use. So let me start out by going to the very first scene and in order to import a 3D element we're going to go over to the library tab in, our, in the right side of the palettes. And once you're in there click on 3D models and then you'll have a list of any models that you already have in your library. But to bring in a new one you can right click on this empty pane and press import files and when you import files you're going to get a you know a window coming up showing you where you stored your files. I'm going to open up this one called Pirate Ship, double click on that and now it is in my library. If you want to get a thumbnail view and see what it looks like you can double click on it and in this case the thumbnail is like really really tiny because it has tall masts on it but um, you can look there for a preview. The way to get it into the scene is just by simply clicking on it and dragging it over to the stage view. As you do drag it over this is totally normal to have a message pop up that says a 3D layer was inserted in the scene. The scene will automatically be converted to 3D. So I'm just going to say OK. And the first thing you'll notice here is that this doesn't look very much like a pirate ship and that's because it is uh, been imported into the scene at a really gigantic size. This was the size that it was designed at. So we are going to need to shrink it down and so to do that, to transform any 3D object, you're going to need to go to use either the first frame tool or the last frame tool. So if you click on the first frame tool and a couple things happen. One is that our model turns purple. It's always going to be a way to show us what's uh, selected in the current view. And this gizmo here is our super transform tool and we'll be using this a lot so I'll show you uh, all the different factors to this coming up. All you need to know for now is that this outer box is going to scale it down or scale it up and all you need to do is put your course cursor over one of the corners and click and drag toward the center dot and as you do this model is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller until we can start to see it. Now you can also click and drag to get an item into your line of sight just by clicking on that selected item dragging down but I'm going to condense it I'm going to uh, transform it a little bit more with that scale tool just because those masts are so tall I want to get the whole thing in I'll drag it down and here we go. Got the whole ship in the scene. Unlike other drawing tools that scale, uh, there's no need to hold down the shift when you transform with this scale tool. You could just pull it uh, away from the center to make it bigger and toward the center to make it smaller again. So when we imported that model, there's four different types of 3D models that can be imported. There's the OSB, the 3DS, the OBJ and FBX and those are all standard 3D models. I'm going to import 2D drawings into Toon Boom Storyboard Pro 3D. There are uh, a number of different ways to do it. You can import 2D drawings into 2D scenes just like we always have with Toon Boom Storyboard Pro and you can also import 2D drawings into 3D scenes. Uh, currently the scene I'm working on is a 2D scene which you can tell because the, the convert to 2D uh, button is ghosted out. The only one that's available is enable 3D which tells us that the scene is not in 3D, it's in 2D. So let's take a look at how to import 2D elements. You can import 2D models 
into Toon Boom Storyboard Pro 3D. There's two different ways to do it. The first is to go to your library and click on Templates. And if you have a template in there that is a 2D template, you just simply click on it and drag it over to your workspace. And there's your 2D drawing element, which you can resize and rearrange just like you would in the standard Toon Boom Storyboard Pro 2. Another way to import 2D drawing elements into a 2D scene is to import it as a layer. If you go over to your Layers menu and then pick Import Images as Layers, then you could just navigate to a folder that's on your computer that has uh, an image that you can simply import to a layer, just like you normally would uh, for importing any artwork into any 2D layer. We can also import 2D drawing elements into Toon Boop Storyboard Pro 3D. Uh, this particular scene I'm working in is a 3D enabled scene. You could tell because the 3D enable 3D is ghosted out, which means it already is in 3D. And if I go to the stage view and I start moving around, you can see that this scene is obviously in 3D. So the way I'm going to import 2D elements into this scene are, I could go to the library, go to templates if I have one, choose the template and drag it into the drawing. Uh, you'll find when you import 2D elements into a 3D scene that the placement is always a little bit odd because they, by default, get placed against the back plane of the uh, screen. So the only thing you need to do there is to simply move them forward in space using some of your controllers. I can grab that blue handle and most importantly I'm going to scale it down. Now I can move it all around. I can bring it forward in space and it's fully movable in 3D space. Another way to import a 2D element into a 3D scene is just going over to the uh, layer menu item and then click on import images as layers. You'll navigate to a folder on your computer where you've got some of your files stored. You can just double click on that and again your drawing element appears right in the scene and just like before if you use the first frame tool or the last frame tool you'll be able to transform it, resize it, move it around in 3D space. And one more way that you can import 2D drawing elements into a 3D scene is to go to your library, go into the uh, templates portion, and you can right click and go to import files. When you click on import files, it's also going to give you uh, a place to navigate, some folders to navigate through. You can double click on the image you choose and now the image itself shows up in your template bin in the library. And I'm just going to drag that over to the scene and once more it appears the way all the others have. Incidentally there's another way that you can view those thumbnails in your library and that's simply to right click in the library and then choose view and then thumbnails and you'll be able to see all of your models. If you have a whole bunch uh, and they don't have really clear names, that can be really helpful. 